I've just returned uh, a day ago from Bonn uh, after attending the two week long uh, 23rd Conference of Parties or COP23 of the UN Framework Convention on Climate Change. Even though it was held in Bonn, the presidency was uh, under Fiji. It's the first time a small island state has presided over the COP and it, that made a significant difference in my view uh, with the outcomes. At the formal level, a number of important decisions were made, particularly including indigenous and local communities, uh, also a gender action plan, and uh, agriculture has now been adopted as one of the key areas to work in. These are important decisions that were made. Also, the kickoff of what the Fijians call the Talanoa Dialogue uh, between Fiji and Poland, who are going to host the next COP, COP24, a year from now in Poland, they are now going to spend the next six months consulting not just with governments but with different stakeholders uh, from civil society and other actors uh, to try and come to a consensus on the global stock take that's going to take place and the facilitated dialogue that's going to take place in COP24 uh, in Poland a year from now. So rather than waiting a year till we all get to Poland, they're going to initiate that process now and get feedback from all countries and all actors. Uh, which is an excellent uh, decision and a good process to follow to get inclusion from all the different sectors. The final point uh, I'll make is uh, my own sense that uh, we are getting a huge amount of uh, interest in implementing the Paris Agreement and this was particularly uh, visible in the uh, NGO or observer zone which was separate from the negotiator zone. Uh, where um, day after day different groups were announcing actions and activities uh, to implement the Paris Agreement. We ourselves uh, did a development and climate days so that IID does every year on the middle weekend. We also initiated a new capacity building day and there were many other such events going on all over uh, Bonn, in, in particular in the observer uh, area. And so to a large extent now the emphasis has now shifted to implementing the Paris Agreement rather than negotiating new agreements. The negotiators still have a task to do in terms of how we implement and raise ambition in particular in the official negotiations with the governments, but the, the power of actual people doing things I think has now been unleashed and this was very evident in the performance of the United States in, in Bonn in COP23. So on the one hand we had the federal government uh, represented by the State Department in the negotiations who were just negotiating and being their usual obstructive selves. And on the other hand, we had wave after wave of governors of uh, states like California and mayors of cities like New York and CEOs of companies like Walmart and youth groups and women's groups and indigenous people's groups all coming to the, uh, the American pavilion which was outside the negotiating premises and saying that they were still in the Paris Agreement. And so the U.S. Uh, federal government under President Trump may have withdrawn, but the U.S. people by and large are actually going to deliver the pledges that were made by President Obama in Paris uh, because the U.S. is well on the way to meeting its pledges. Of course we need them to do a lot more and with Trump withdrawing uh, that's not like, going to happen, but nevertheless what it showed in Paris uh, in Bonn is that all countries and now all peoples are much more united to implement what we agreed in Paris and it's about how do we scale up, make it faster rather than negotiating a new deal.